just did their first kiss. Then let's add some more sugar. Look, a cup of perfect citrus juice is done. How does it taste? Uh-huh, it's amazing. I want Dog Day to taste it too. Haha, uh -huh, I guess so. Hey, Dog Day. This is the citrus juice that Picky taught me to make. Do you want to try it? Of course. Miss Delight also give me some cookies. We can sit down and read and chat while drinking juice. <laughs> hey, catnap, look. Hmm? Dada! I combed my fur. What do you think? Ah! Uh, do you like? Why? 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 I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I didn't know you don't like it. You're the most jealous man I know. You know other men? Chose me, or him. Hey! You better ready to die. Ah! You saved me? No one was hurt. I know Catnap will love this gift. I hope Dog Day likes my gift. Dog Day, you got me a gift? I saw you also give me a gift. You're, You're the, the best! best. Oh. Gah. Catnap, are you even listening? Yum. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, Catnap. I had no idea anyone else was here, watching us. Suddenly I feel a bit self-conscious and awkward about displaying our affection in front of others. But you know what? Despite the prying eyes and the potential judgment of others, I couldn't care less. I'm so deeply in love with you, Catnap that I would embrace you and shower you with affection, even if we were in the midst of a crowded room with thousands of eyes fixed upon us. My love for you knows no bounds, and I refuse to let anyone or anything stand in the way of expressing it. Catnap, what on earth do you think you're doing? I wasn't expecting that at all. Silly me, Dog Day. I couldn't resist stealing a kiss from you in this moment. You know how much I adore you, and I simply couldn't help myself. As much as I cherish these stolen moments with you, Catnap, perhaps it's time for us to dial back the affection for now. Let's save the rest for when we're alone together, where we can continue to revel in each other's love without any distractions or interruptions. Catnap, as always, you misunderstood everything. We should have made a heart together. Um, no. Why are you always so stubborn, Catnap? We need to go the other way, I'm telling you. Five minutes later. Okay, okay, I agree to go wherever you say, just let me go. Ha ha ha, you are so gullible, Catnap. <laughs> Ouch, my leg! I absolutely adore cuddling with you, Catnap. Your fur is so incredibly soft and fluffy, it's like snuggling up with a cloud. There's nothing quite like the feeling of being wrapped in your warm embrace, feeling safe and loved. However, I must confess, there's one aspect of our cuddle sessions that I could do without, your kisses. It's not that I don't appreciate your affection, Cotnep, because I truly do. But your mustache has a tendency to tickle and irritate my skin, making it difficult for me to fully relax and enjoy the moment. Sometimes I wonder what pork tastes like. Uh... Hello, Dog Day. Thanks, Angel. Don't worry, I have more thread if it breaks again. <laughs> you are so beautiful, Angel. <laughs> Hoot. They are waiting for Kicken to come, who has been summoned by the teacher. I'm in the shade and it's hot. We got kicked out because the teacher closed the classroom. Why don't you have a drink? You brought Kalpus, didn't you? I already drank all of it. Oh, I just want to go home. Kicken. Can't wait for you to get here. Hey! I guess the heat got to my brain. Hey, dog day, catnaps. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
Aren't you both a little red? Heat stroke? No, it's nothing. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, it's you, Dog Day. I feel much better now, thanks. They're handsome. I had a bad day. I feel so sad. It's good that I have dog day. Expectation. Ah! <coughs> Reality. Ah! Sorry, Catnap. Oh, Dog Day, you can't take toys to bed with you. Okay, you win. Oh, a bedtime story. Bubba, that's a great idea, but I can only read you one. Nurse Bobby, say goodnight to Miss Delight. Piggy Piggy, it's bedtime. Ah, is this for me? Thank you, my sweet. You can't sleep here, Crafty Corn. You'll catch a cold. Is that me in the painting? You draw so well, my dear. Poppy Hopscotch, kicking chicken, get back here, right now! <sighs> Good night, my little guys. Aww. I see you. You see me. How pleasant this feeling. The moment you hold me. I missed you, I'm sorry. I've given what I have, I showed you, I'm growing. The ashes fall slowly. As your voice consoles me. We're swagging to drone beats. In mention, I'm feeling... My patient's controlling. The question I won't speak. We're telling the stories. Our laughter. He knows me. We're leaving. We're talking. You're closer. It's calming. Go, go, go! As far as you can! Huh? Why are you just standing there? <laughs> you can't be here. You can't stay. The night will hold us close and the stars will guide us home. I've been waiting for this moment. We're finally alone. I turn to ask the question. Your lips are soft like winter. In your passion. I was lost. 